good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, everyone. Uh, um, you know, really, really appreciate uh, you making time to attend our um, annual uh, chapters update. Uh, so, um, uh, just to kind of kick things off, um, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, uh, our new president for our society, John Long, and also followed by Dan Friedman, um, our VP of membership, uh, to give a few co comments. Okay, uh, John, you want to take it away? Thanks, Alvin. And uh, hello, everybody. It's my pleasure to be here. It's unfortunate that we're not at the Marriott having lunch together like we usually do. Um, Hopefully next year, things will be back to normal. We'll be able to, to do that. But also doing things online means that more people can participate. So this is kind of a unique opportunity for us. And thanks to Alvin and Dan for uh, for putting this together with the staff of Bira and Lauren Caruso and Adam Greenberg. Their, their great work is really supporting as well as an organization. And thanks to, also to the chapter chairs for taking the lead in representing our society so well in your region. Your work in professional development and education and outreach is really, you know, core to our community. So it's great to be here and to participate with everybody and, and meet you. Okay, thanks very much for uh, um, you know the, the the kind words there, John. Uh, Dan, you want to take it away? Hi everyone. Again, I want to echo what what John said. Thank you very much for being here, and and thank you especially for. Uh, everything you're doing to kind of create the local flavor for uh, what the solid state, sol you know, solid state circuit society uh, can be for our membership. Um, so very high level membership has uh, a number of elements to it, you know, chapters being sort of the core piece of that, but we also have the women in circuits and diversity initiatives uh, awards and then young professionals. And there's a lot of synergy across these items. Um, and, uh, but one of the key things that we would like to see and that, you know, why Alvin and I have spent so much time talking about chapters and kind of, uh, changing a little bit about how kind of the, the, you know, how we provide support to the chapter organization from the sort of the central port of the society is that, um, we just want to make sure that all of the opportunities that. Uh, are created educational opportunities and engagement opportunities that these are clearly communicated to the chapter chairs so the chapter chairs can make good decisions about how to take advantage of what solid state circuit society provides it should never be the case that you're not aware of something that would be really good for your membership that uh, you could actually take advantage of and uh, alvin has been working incredibly hard uh, to come up to kind of uh, enhance kind of that uh, sharing and to drive engagement more with you. And I think it's it's his, you know, I think it's his last chart is how can we help you better? Something like that, Alvin. But I want to echo that. That's what we're looking for is also feedback. How can we make it better for you to uh, engage with the membership and, you know, create the, the value we all want to create out of, you know, this piece of what the Solid State Circuit Society does. So again, Thank you so much for everything you're doing to drive your chapters. And um, I'm really happy that you're able to join. And I want to again thank Alvin and Abira and the whole team at the uh, in New Jersey for uh, all the work they've done uh, in supporting you know, membership and chapters in particular. So thanks, Alvin. Thanks very much, Dan. Okay. Well, uh, uh, just to uh, give folks a, a quick uh, agenda, we're going to have a, uh, um, a, I'll, I'll go over uh, a presentation, which should take about 20 minutes and you take some questions, you know, feel free to interject if you have some questions. Uh, and uh, what I'd like to do after that is um, we, we're going to, um, for those of you who are all here, uh, we're going to basically have breakout uh, session where uh, we'd like to you know, hear back from you and your participation and so forth. Uh, being an instrumental part. Okay, so um, this is a bit of a special year. So uh, uh, um, the SSCS is actually having its 25th anniversary. Uh, so uh, with that, uh, you know, let's move on to the presentation. Uh, so, you know, first and foremost, uh, I want to thank uh, you again on behalf of uh, of the team. Uh, you know, to you know, you as chapter chairs, officers, etc. You all serve a very very critical role. You are um, the bridge between um, our society and to our society local membership. Okay, uh, 
Uh, so that, that, that's really, really an important role that you serve. And, uh, I can't thank you enough, uh, for what you do. Okay. So that's, uh, so, uh, let's start by, uh, um, you know, uh, going through some, uh, recognition. So our, uh, 2021 outstanding chapter awards, uh, uh, went to the South Brazil and the Wuhan chapters, uh, um, you know, f fantastic job. Okay. And so, uh, anyways, uh. Uh, I want to uh, 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 reach out and thank them um, for what they do, as well as all, all the other chapters have been very, very active. Um, uh, the, uh, uh, these chapters uh, received their awards virtually at ISSCC last month. Okay. Also, one thing that's new that we created this year is a, a chapter honor roll. Okay. And so I want to thank once again, um, the folks who have been very, very active. And so what we did this year was we established a list of active chapters, um, you know, based on, uh, uh, you know, calendar year of activities that uh, you reported on B tools. Uh, and um, this is recognized on the SSCS website. And so, um, you know, what we did was we took basically on the list of chapters with eight or more events in 2021. And uh, you see the list here and want to thank you once again for, you know, phenomenal job. Um, this is a, a very nice idea um, uh, that was, uh, uh, suggested by um, uh, one of our steering committee members, uh, 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 Bruce Doyle. Uh, this is the core team, uh, as uh, uh, as as, as um, uh, um, uh, John and uh, uh, Dan had indicated. So it's myself. Um, I um, was um, appointed to this role a year ago. Uh, we've got Lauren, who's the chapter um, administrator, uh, Abira. Uh, and Danielle, who um, are also um, doing um, administrate um, some of the administration or the administration work for chapters. Um, Adam Greenberg, um, thanks for your support. And also Dan Friedman, uh, um, my boss for IEEE, he's the VP of membership, and my boss's boss, John Long, um, who's the president of our society. You know, thank you for uh, you know the autonomy and the space that you've given us to uh, um, go out and reach out and do what we think is right for chapters. Okay. Uh, we do have a new uh, chapter steering committee um, uh, that was formed uh, as of August last year. Thank you very much uh, for you know participating in this. Uh, we've got uh, folks. Uh, many of you are here today uh, in this call. Um, folks um, across um, different diverse uh, geographies, uh, um, representing both uh, regular joint as well as uh, student branch chapters, um, and. Uh, uh, also want to mention that, uh, you know, this uh, uh, group of uh, people uh, um, who are in this list uh, represent uh, either current or past uh, uh, chairs who have been very, very active in uh, running uh, their respective chapters. So, as of uh, last month, um, we have um, 121 chapters. I believe we have 122 now. Um, we have a, a pretty good mix. Um, 52 of our chapters are SSCS only, 42 being joint, and 27 student chapters. Uh, the most recent chapter that was formed is in Kerala. We also have from University of Michigan, Lahore in Pakistan, University of Lille in France, and also Romania that was resurrected. Um, you know, I think it's great that, uh, you know, we've got uh, a chapter count versus time that uh, looks like a stock market uh, trend that uh, everyone wants to have. Um, it's a healthy count. But uh, certainly, uh, uh, my personal goal and aspiration, as I'm sure uh, is shared with uh, um, John and Dan and all others, is uh, not just to have um, lots of chapters, but more importantly, active chapters. Okay? And as you know, you are our conduit to reach out to our members. And, and so what, um, if the chapters can all be active to maximize outreach to our members, um, that, that, that would be great. Okay. So just a little bit more into the statistics. Um, so as we all know, one of the basic requirements uh, of running a chapter is uh, uh, we have to report our activities in this tool called VTools. Um, uh, some of you have complained it's not a particularly user-friendly tool. I'm sorry, we don't have a, a simple solution at this point, um, but we do have um, all sorts of training available. If you still have issues, please reach out to us. So if you look at the, the, the left plot, you can see uh, um, the number of uh, reported events um, on VTools. Uh, it's been, you know, steadily uh, hovering around 
uh, 350 to 400. And there was a little bit of a dip last year, which is understandable due to the pandemic. But uh, um, as of uh, or two years ago, but as of um, last year, uh, things have picked up as chapters have figured out how to uh, um, run um, uh, virtual events and uh, actually uh, even uh, uh, thrived. And so this is great. Um, obviously, um, if we can uh, make uh, the year 2022 even more prolific um, than 513 events, that would be even more awesome. And um, uh, and we've got you know a, a good trend where more and more chapters are reporting their events. Uh, looking at the right plot, you can, or bar graph, you can see it's a plot of the number of chapters that have reported uh, a certain number of events. Um, we uh, um, do have quite a few. Uh, chapters that uh, are are inactive, and you know uh, whether it's because of reporting or um, because uh, um, there are other reasons why they're not so active. Um, you know, please reach out to us. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, let us know uh, how we can make you more active. Uh, and also, if you look at um, uh, the uh, you know as far as the distribution of chapters reporting uh, many many events, um, you can see it's fantastic that we have like you know. You know, um, nine chapters that have uh, reported um, 12 or more events, which is an incredible amount of effort uh, uh, to, to, uh, to the local membership. So, on the subject of communication, uh, you know, we, uh, uh, it's obviously very critical to have updated chapter uh, leadership information. Uh, to this end, uh, they, they, you know, uh, we, you should have received emails from us asking you for all the chapter information. Uh, your latest officers. Um, and so we've got new mailing lists uh, created. Abira and uh, uh, Danielle have uh, painstakingly created new, new mailing lists that include all chapter officers, um, chapter chairs only, student chapters only, as well as region based lists. And the hope is um, this will help uh, uh, chapters actually cross pollinate and share um, activities, especially if they're virtual. Okay. And uh, when you give us your updated information, uh, Abira uh, um, and Lauren will update the SSCS website. We do need your help. Okay, and this is absolutely very critical to make sure we have updated information. It's very basic, and yet uh, it, it was a struggle we had in trying to ramp things up. Uh, please notify Lauren immediately if you have a change in your officers. Um, uh, and uh, a couple other things. Uh, you want to uh, uh, recruit a team to help you if at all possible, uh, at a very minimum, um, a vice chair. Um, most uh, chapters actually do not have a vice chair. And, uh, uh, you know, if you want, uh, you know, the, the, the baby that you've helped gr uh, grow and develop uh, um, to succeed, uh, you really, really need to make sure that you've got a, a, a team uh, that's going to um, uh, work with you. Okay. And certainly uh, the most active chapters uh, uh, we have found all have uh, teams, which is not surprising. Uh, student branch chapters, um, please work closely with your chapter faculty advisor for the same reason, also for succession. Okay, now, as far as communication resources go, uh, back in uh, September, uh, we uh, uh, offered a chapter's best practices webinar uh, where um, basically Abira, Lauren, and I, um, as well as um, 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 uh, inputs from Dan and Frank uh, and, and Ken O, oh, our past president, uh, recorded um, a, a webinar, which has a lot of useful information on, uh, you know, how to organize effective talks, including webinars, um, you know, the resources that are available to you, uh, et cetera, et cetera, uh, how to grow, sustain your chapter. And uh, um, I've been a chapter chair for many years. And so um, this is, uh, you know, not just uh, uh, um, coming inputs coming from someone, um, uh, to, you know, pontificating what it's like to run a chapter, but, you know, uh, having done so myself. Okay. Uh, another thing also, uh, there will be a, uh, uh, inaugural quarterly newsletter that, uh, Abira is in the process of putting together. We're targeting at the end of this month, it'll be out. Uh, the content will have announcements, reminders, deadlines, etc. uh, as well as, uh, the list of new DLs, um, um, uh, recent and upcoming DL events, etc. Uh, things that you can do that if you may not be quite so active, you can share with your chapter, or even if you are active, share with your chapter distribution list uh, to let people know all the things that are going on. And, and chapters are doing collectively doing a lot of activities, which is great. Okay. Uh, just a quick uh, uh, 
uh, a shout out. Uh, the new um, roster for distinguished lecturers is now ready with the uh, class uh, um, DLs of 2022 to 2023 now listed on the right half of this plot or, or, or graph here or, or slide here. Uh, check the website for more details. Uh, just remember that uh, because the travel is covered by SSCS and uh, not by your chapter, uh, this is you know really the only feasible and sustainable way to basically have um, uh, 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 out of town speakers come to your chapter. Uh, give talks and uh, uh, and not break your bank. Okay, so just uh, be aware. Please uh, include Frank O'Mahony, who's our DL chair, and notify Beer when you invite DLs. Okay, and uh, thank uh, all the DLs for their service. And uh, you know, please use this uh, DL program uh, to your advantage. Uh, also, uh, in uh, April last year, there was a, a new YouTube channel on chapters events. So this would be this is really an anthology of uh, of, of recorded uh, chapter events. Um, and so uh, basically, uh, there are links to participating YouTube videos and archive of chapter videos. You can have your own chapter uh, YouTube channel, which uh, some of you have had, such as South Brazil. Uh, and um, uh, and, and uh, uh, just notify Bira to you know, link, uh, add, add your content to the master playlist. Um, which is, a, a, like I say, a, a consolidation of all chapter YouTube events. Um, thanks, um, you know, for all your help here to record the events. And uh, clearly you can see uh, that uh, just looking at the videos here, um, you know, there are lots of people watching these, uh, this content. Okay, uh, a note about chapter subsidies. So as far as the basics go, if you are a regular chapter or student branch chapter, that's SSCS only. Um, you can qualify to uh, request for a maximum of $2,000 per year. Um, joint chapters uh, that are either regular, or joint, or student branch uh, basically can request for a maximum of $1,000. Uh, okay. So, uh, just a note uh, starting in 2022, uh, we have basically uh, revamped the uh, subsidy process to start much earlier in the calendar so that funds get to your hands as quickly as possible so that you can basically run more activities, okay? Uh, now, one important thing to note uh, is that uh, related to your banking, please use um, a concentration banking account if you don't already have one. It makes uh, uh, Lauren's life significantly easier, but more importantly, it gets the money into your hands much, much faster, okay, with uh, a lot less red tape. Um, if you don't have one, please open one. Um, uh, the subsidy process, has migrated from open water to a smart sheet online form uh, to make it much easier for us to uh, uh, review your requests and, um, uh, and, and as well as uh, uh, get the money out to you as quickly as possible. Okay. So now uh, with that said, the uh, um, chapter, the chapter subsidy cycle did close um, recently uh, for the 40 uh, chapters that did apply. Uh, uh, basically you got the maximum amount. Um, in some cases, uh, um, more than, uh, um, than you asked for because you didn't ask for the maximum amount. Uh, um, we want the money in your hands so that you can uh, uh, basically, uh, um, uh, you know, be as active as possible. But, you know, only 40 chapters uh, uh, applied for subsidies and be great if more did. Okay. Uh, but, you know, with the new next subsidy request opening up in November, um, Basically, if you are forming a new chapter or have formed a new one and are resurrecting one, uh, given that the deadline has closed for this year, uh, uh, back in uh, mid mid January, please contact us if you um, uh, um, uh, need some uh, uh, starter funds to get your process your your chapter going. Okay, uh, on the subject of recognition, uh, we have also expanded uh, uh, the chapter awards. Uh, um, uh, so the uh, uh, regular and uh, or joint chapter of the year um, uh, is uh, now um, uh, uh, going to uh, um, have with it five other chapter awards. There will be a student chapter of the year, a chapter with the best educational program, chapter with the best distinguished lecture program, chapter with the best women in circuits program, chapter with the best pre university outreach. Um, these are all uh, uh, aligned with uh, um, uh, the uh, society's uh, um, uh, um, priorities, and uh, uh, we've uh, basically uh, upped the bar 
uh, getting enough, uh, getting extra funding uh, to basically recognize more of you guys uh, for the fantastic work that you do. Okay. And so uh, just be on the lookout that uh, um, the nomination uh, window will open uh, again in November uh, for a calendar year 2022 uh, awards. Uh, and the process has been simplified with a smart sheet online submission. So definitely encourage uh, you to apply. Um, there were lots of deserving chapters uh, um, that did not apply, and that's why they weren't considered. Um, so, you know, please, um, our goal is to, you know, uh, um, you, uh, uh, spend as much as possible on awarding, uh, um, you know, your, your incredible efforts. Uh, just a couple other things. Um, there's a new initiative that uh, has started out for student chapters, and this is the SSCS tutoring uh, initiative. And so this is something that was uh, uh, pioneered uh, um, uh, um, by Ken O, oh, our past president, um, with the vision that uh, uh, of having SSCS in every circuits class. Okay, and so the goal here is to recruit undergrad and grad student volunteers uh, uh, to basically uh, uh, help um, uh, students in uh, learning basic electric and transistor circuit classes, uh, and uh, you know to reward these volunteers uh, with. For instance, IEEE's All State Circuits membership, uh, videos, shirts, etc. Uh, certainly, for professors, the carrot has been, um, you know, as Ken has indicated, that whenever he had uh, uh, his undergrad uh, tutors uh, 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 work with him and his students, they had better learning experience, and that resulted in a better teaching evaluation too. Okay, and so uh, this is kind of an open initiative. Um, you know, we have some pilot potential pilot locations here. We do need your help. Uh, and, uh, and also student chapters, uh, you know, how to, how to get this going. So, uh, if you, uh, this is something that you're interested to really, uh, and passionate to, to try out, please uh, let us know. Uh, additional initiatives. Um, so this year turns out to be the 75th anniversary of the transition uh, of the transistor, um, that was, uh, discovered, uh, back at Bell Labs or, uh, in 1947. Uh, so this is a collaboration with Electron Devices taking the lead, but we have plans in progress to, uh, you know, create and share events with uh, EDS and SSES chapters. So let us know if you'd like to get involved. Uh, so for those of you who know, this is the official logo that was uh, created for uh, to com commemorate the 75th anniversary. And, uh, um, uh, uh, and, and for those of you, you know, who, you know, know a little bit about the history, the first transistor that was built um, was indeed a bipolar transistor, um, even though the MOS transistor was conceived first in a patent uh, as an idea, uh, but surface states uh, limited um, its uh, uh, actually uh, realization until uh, uh, early 60s. Um, but um, those of you may note that the first transistor, not only was it bipolar, it was also a PNP, germanium transistor. Um, another note, um, uh, another initiative that's um, of um, you know increasing uh, personal um, endearment to me is uh, pre-university outreach. So um, you know it's amazing that it took a pandemic to make the world realize that we actually matter. <laughs> uh, uh, and um, you know uh, maybe some of you might aspire to uh, come up with a new t TV reality show to show uh, what we do in our daily lives. But um, you know more importantly to keep this. Uh, 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 thing going, um, you know, to have our growing pipeline of EE talent, uh, we really need to reach out to more than just uh, um, college folks or university people, and need to reach out to middle and high school and encourage kids to do uh, to, to get into that. Um, ultimately, I, you know, I don't think it's just uh, myself that believe that this is the ultimately uh, the sustainable solution to improve um, diversity and inclusion uh, in our field. Uh, and I want to uh, shout out that uh, some chapters, such as the University of Nice in Serbia, has already been doing a phenomenal job. Let us know how you want to get involved. Um, so this is just a, a picture taken from, I guess, uh, 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 um, uh, uh, 13 and a half years ago uh, when my son was, uh, um, Theo, was uh, uh, just uh, four months old. And uh, here he is about to start high school. A little bit of a cats in the cradle moment for me, but certainly, um, uh, you know, I think many of us have kids who have gone through or about to go through a high school and, uh, um, you know, certainly uh, uh, um, uh, like to, you know, this is the, the right time to really shape their minds. Okay, 
With that said, uh, I want to just wrap up with some key takeaways. So, uh, uh, so uh, um, please inform um, us of immediately on all changes in your officer leadership so we can uh, uh, stay communicated with you. Uh, just a reminder, it may be painful for some, but you do need to report all your activities on VTools. Um, uh, you know, please uh, continue to organize creative chapter activities involving distinguished lecturers, uh, women in circuits, you know, pre-university and university engagement. Um, you know, by all means, uh, 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 you know, please be open to share your events, organize, uh, whether it's uh, organized by other chapters or by SSCS, such as the webinars. Um, you know, just uh, uh, let your membership know all these great activities that uh, that uh, uh, SSCS is doing. Um, don't forget your subsidy request and your award nominations at the end of the year. Um, and, uh, you know, one thing that's also very near and dear to my heart is, uh, um, you know, please, um, uh, uh, if you have, um, you know, have not thought more about this plan succession for chapter continuity. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, the most important reason of all, uh, most important thing of all is, uh, you know, please enjoy the ride and, uh, uh, you know, all these great things you're doing for society and community. Uh, um, you know, if you don't enjoy the ride, then uh, uh, you're not going to, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, it's going to become a, bur a, a burdensome chore. You obviously don't want that and uh, just want to highlight, you know, please enjoy the ride. And thanks again for all you do for the chapters. Um, with that said, um, uh, let's uh, move on to our breakout topic. Uh, so we're going to have breakout sessions. Abira is going to, I guess, uh, uh, break everyone up randomly into um, uh, the different uh, into breakout topics. And so the thing I'd like to discuss here is how can we better serve your chapter? How can the society better serve your chapter? Uh, looking for your feedback. And so we'll have a breakout and then after uh, the breakout, we'll come back and uh, um, have a, 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 a representative for, for that breakout session, uh, share thoughts as to uh, what makes, uh, you know, what, 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 um, how SSES can better serve your chapter. So with that said, um, we've got a lot of uh, uh, chapter um, uh, uh, steering committee members and so forth. And so uh, if, uh, you know, you find that uh, uh, you are, um, you know, uh, you, several of you are in the same room, please, you know, distribute yourself uh, uh, amongst the various breakout rooms, which are, I believe, groups of 10. Okay. So, uh, Abira, um, do you want to uh, carry carry forward what, what how this so... is going I will be breaking you out into breakout rooms and it'll just be done automatically. So there'll be about 10 to 12 people per room and you should have the option to uh, jump from room to room. And Alvin, how long should everyone be in their breakout rooms? Um, well, how about, uh, I don't know. Um... Does 15, 20 minutes sound good? Okay, so let me do... Um, how about 20 minutes? Is it, let uh, me do yeah. 20 minutes, and when the 20 minutes is up, everyone will receive a countdown, and you'll be automatically placed back into the main room. And if for and and if you're done with your discussion early, on the bottom of your dashboard there'll be a icon. It looks like a red door. So just click that, and then you can leave your breakout room and return to the main session. Awesome. Okay. So I guess once uh, folks are in a breakout room, please uh, uh, nominate someone uh, uh, to basically uh, uh, take notes and uh, uh, and feed that back when we um, have the session. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thanks. And just um, let us know. Let myself, Alvin, Adam, and Danielle and Lauren know if you have any questions. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Thanks for all your inputs. Uh, okay, so team, welcome back. Thanks for your participation so forth. So, uh, how many break rooms did we have, Abira? We had five, I believe. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so, uh, um, I guess let's go through, uh, you know, the, the five break rooms one by one and, and, and collect some inputs. And, 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 you know, um, you know, open this up for discussion. So, uh, um, let's see, uh, break room number one. Who uh, was assigned to um, be uh, uh, the rep for break room number one?
Oops. Forgot to assign somebody. It's okay. Can 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 someone uh, uh, speak uh, on behalf of break room number one? Uh, sure. I I guess I can do that. Um, so, uh, Richard, chapter chair of the Oregon Solid State Circuit Society. So so a lot of our discussion was was basically that. Um, uh, so the idea of being able to share events between chapters is is a very good one in terms of being able to sort of bolster the events that we have and can do. Um, uh, over the last two years, we've come to like the uh, uh, virtual events just because they allow more participation from people, especially if they're say further away from our chapter and have to travel. Um, specifically, the South Brazilian chapter, they have you know people that could be a thousand kilometers away. And so coming for an event, um, if it was in person, would be quite a challenge. Um, there has been um, some challenge over the pandemic in terms of um, holding some events, kind of getting it organized and doing their just sort of a kind of the sort of immediate lockdowns kind of killed a lot of momentum the chapters had going. Um, and so it's taken some time to sort of get that um, back in there um, and now sort of there's uh, kind of a move towards some hybrid events, but um, some of the challenge in, in there is uh, kind of maybe mirrored say this time last year where things were kind of hopeful and looking up and then we you know, had maybe a nice summer and then things kind of got locked back down. So just sort of um, wondering how to uh, navigate a little bit of that uncertainty in there um, as well as uh, we had a bit of a discussion in terms of how in, how to sort of um, uh, reach out and connect with, um, uh, say, undergraduates and graduate students and kind of get them to kind of commingle with um, professionals. And, and at least traditionally, that was a lot easier to do as a sort of um, in-person event, assuming you could get the students there. And, and how do you, say, accomplish, say, that same task in a um, hybrid-like environment? Um, I think those were the major points that we touched upon. Okay, great. Um, I, I was going to mention, um, so uh, uh, related to uh, sharing events, um, so that's actually one of the key reasons why we created region-based mailing lists. Um, and so uh, uh, I, I guess um, um, we can make it a, a you know, we'll, we'll send a list of all the, the, the mailing lists, but, you know, we want to be careful that, you know, when we send this out, a lot of people will be getting this email, right? So use use mailing lists carefully. But um, for announcing uh, future events and so forth, um, certainly uh, uh, sharing, you know, virtual events uh, with other um, uh, uh, regions where, you know, the time zones are, 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 are practical um, is definitely the right thing to do. Alvin, I have a suggestion. I don't know if we can do this, but <clears throat> when we schedule an event, um, can the, the, you know, the chapter chairs or the secretary of the chapters, can they send out the announcement um, <clears throat> so that it can be posted on the SSCS chapter chair mailing list so um, that everybody has it, or is that too much? Um, I, we do that anyways, uh, and, and the Bureau has been great at, you know, um, uh, posting it, but, mm -hmm. you know, when we've got 120 chapters and if everyone decides to be active, um, we'll need a way to automate this, right? Well, maybe it's a place where we can just post it. It would be easier if we could have a place where we can just post events. Yeah, actually, that would be perfect. I mean, so you're then, then you're not flooding email boxes and people can just go to one place to find everything. We can do that. Um, we actually have a chapter events section on the SSCS website, so you can just forward it to me and I can post it. Perfect. That is awesome. Thank you. The thing is, is like if, you know, the question for the team here, right? If we don't uh, uh, get an email, I mean, will we go out of our way to go check this mailing list to see if there are events? That That's the other, you know, that's the balance, right? Well, we, I think what we could do is on a monthly basis, a bureau could just send a reminder out to the mailing list, say, hey, go check the, the upcoming events. Okay. So one thing I've noticed is um, quite often um, people don't send uh, notices well in advance. Mm -hmm. um, what I generally find is um, two weeks is a good sweet spot. Um, one month is a little bit, you know, a little bit out. 
And so how do we actually balance that and make sure people actually get notified? Um, it almost seems like, uh, um, you know, giving uh, access to the, you know, well, actually everyone has access here to the region mailing list, know what they are and having it fingertips, just make it a habit that whenever you um, uh, uh, set up and organize a virtual event, you CC um, the list and that way everyone knows by email, right? I mean, at a very minimum, in addition to a bureau knowing, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So Richard, you also brought up a very interesting point about uh, hybrid events, right? Um, it'll be really interesting. I mean, conferences and, you know, Alessandro we have, who's the VP of conferences are here. Alessandro, thanks for chiming in from Italy. Uh, um, uh, so, you know, I think it'll be really interesting to see how chapters, uh, um, you know, who are uh, um, trying for hybrid events um, can organize them. And I think it'd be great if we all kind of learn from each other how to plan hybrid events. Um, it, it, it can be a fantastic opportunity or a suicide pill, <laughs> um, depending on how, how it goes. And so, uh, um, it'll, you know, that, that, it, you know, Richard, it'll be good to, you know, and, and others will be good to, you know, as, as we learn how to do this right to actually share best practices and so forth. And that, that's something we, we, we should have. We'll do a test case very soon, Alvin, because the women in yeah. circuits is going to be working with Richard to put up. So the women in circuits will take care of the virtual part, and we're hoping that Richard will take care of the in-person part. <laughs> awesome. Okay, great. Um, I, I will also note that some of the other societies here in Oregon are trying to, at least this year, opt to doing um, online-only webinars, but then doing in-person socials to try and have at least um, some interaction between there. So, so I guess I was going to monitor and see how that worked for those societies. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay, anything else, Richard? Uh, no, I think that's it. Thank you, Alvin. Okay, thank you. Okay, how about breakout two? Uh, <clears throat> so, I, I took the pen on taking the notes, Alvin. So. We had a very good discussion. We had very good representation. Um, so the first one that came up a lot was VTools. Uh, it, it's difficult to use. It needs work. I think this has been discussed before, and it's not very user friendly. But one thing that Chris did point out is that he does have a specification that he wants VTools to uh, move towards. Is that he wants to be able to send out his announcement with speaker and everything within 30 seconds. So oh, wait, wait, wait. You mean Chris Riddell was in your um Yes, he was in oh, he was in my I, session. I would never have guessed. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> um also e notice is also causes a, it's hard to use also. So um so we had a discussion on that. Um and then COVID, you know, because of COVID nineteen it did make everybody did say that it made, you know, move it, you know, we were used to in person events and then having to move to um, virtual took some effort and some time, uh, but I think people are now getting used to that. Um, the other thing is that people think that it's a good idea to have, you know, collaboration between chapters and to even potentially co-organize events and share speakers. So something that we were talking about just now. Um, one other big point here was that um a per, you know one of our representatives from the texas the chapter was saying that you know they're losing engineers to startup activity in other parts of the world and <clears throat> they are seeing you know a membership in their chapter dropping but they want to be able to um i guess <clears throat> do some outreach um and help also attract more people in the field and then what they're also noticing is that some of the students graduating are not really having the skill set that the company needs and so they would want SSCS to help with some training material to work with the local um, industry and, and help you know with some practical training uh, so that could be um, through video channels or through materials uh so that would be very helpful and um that came up in a by a couple of folks reported wanted to to see if that would be possible another thing is um then sort of we had a a, a young chapter representative and 
And so we started talking about a new chapter guide and whether what we have on the web is adequate or whether it needs improvement. So maybe we could get some of the newer chapters to give us that feedback and see how usable that material is and whether it gets them going quickly or whether they have difficulty starting. Um, and then also collaboration with other societies. So, you know, um, maybe collaboration with CAS uh, would be good. Maybe some having some cross platform events, especially since our field is becoming multidisciplinary as well. That's it. Thanks for Hannah. That was a, a lot of, uh, uh, sounds like a very lively discussion was had. Mm -hmm. um, okay, uh, uh, Bruce, uh, for breakout three, do you want to do the honors? Yeah, thanks, Alvin. Uh, so you were in our breakout and we had a range, we had Adam also, thanks, and Nibira came in. And we had a range of um, some city-based uh, chapters, like myself in Boston, uh, some uh, country-based chapters, a uh, few in Europe, Middle East, and the uh, Far East as well, in India and some more directly connected, a student chapter, and some that had uh, student-based activities. And we covered uh, three uh, general topics. There are probably more, but we only had so much time. So a couple uh, overlapping themes from what we've heard already. Uh, Alvin, you opened a conversation by talking about chapter supplies, uh, which I think, Avira, you had sent out some things as well. So I would encourage more of that. I think uh, when we do have the physical is great. And also I see a few people with their virtual backgrounds. So I think more virtual backgrounds uh, is also a good thing. Uh, we did uh, uh, highlight, as was just mentioned, VTools. So I think maybe there could be a subset, um, you know, making the tools effective so that people can easily find our activities. Uh, and that was the second theme was about um, activities. We focused particularly on distinguished lectures. Uh, what's the coverage? Uh, Alvin, you mentioned there's a nominating process. So if you've got speaker so of interest that you want to bring forward, uh, that would be great. And then that sort of ran into also, how do we uh, get access to each others, uh, which came up in the earlier uh, discussion. So we, we'd like to see more of that. And Alvin, you mentioned that there's some regional mail lists. So I think that could be helpful. And then the third topic was really uh, focused on student engagement, uh, sort of a balance of how to promote understanding of SSC idea, SSCS ideas, what to do about uh, bringing people in that maybe have less experience, where maybe some of our speakers have a lot of experience. And an idea there was that uh, speakers could potentially have some amount of introductory material that they could use as a framework uh, before they get to the good stuff, uh, but hopefully also bringing forward some of what their latest research is and uh, why, why are people excited, so the social side I think, which is a lot of what chapters uh, brings about. So I don't know if anyone else wants to add anything uh, that I may have missed or that came to mind uh, from the discussion. Feel free to jump in. Uh, go ahead. Did someone have a comment? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Um, so I just got an email from uh, uh, Stefano, who uh, Stefano Petrie, who's the um, uh, from the uh, Central Texas or Austin chapter. So um, uh, he had to leave uh, for another meeting, uh, but uh, uh, here are the breakout four uh, notes. Um, so um, one question was, well, you know, how do we recruit for SSCS membership? Um, you know, why SSCS membership? Uh, there's no apparent benefit. Um, you know, how can we try to le uh, leverage the mentoring program, uh, for instance, for students? Um, are companies willing to support mentoring? Okay, so one thing, um, I want to highlight here. Um, I learned this actually kind of uh, in the indirect way. Um, I'm, I'm uh, I serve as a mentor um, for uh, um, a handful of students. Uh, it is a it is an incredible secret weapon for hiring. <laughs> okay, so um, anyways, if you are uh, uh, interested, uh, you know, I mean, right now there's such a shortage for uh, um, for 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 hiring. Uh, you know, I'm sure many of you will have uh, stories to share where. Um, someone who just got hired is basically having a much higher salary than you are having yourself. Um, I'm certainly facing with that reality as we speak, but anyways, uh, um, uh, uh, the mentoring aspect is something uh, you, you should uh, be aware of. It's a great thing that uh, the young professionals are, um, are, are have been um, working on and, 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 and developing. Um, on chapters related, um, um, Webinars will have higher attendance than in person, so inevitably it'll stay. Okay, um, 
video tools provided are inadequate. Um, request for WebEx takes too much effort. Uh, Google cuts at one hour, so you cannot extend the meeting. Um, would be helpful if SSCS provided a common platform. Um, also, uh, um, a thank you letter and a gift card. Uh, the Central Texas chapter creates a thank you letter and sends a $50 gift card to Starbucks in the US. This is consistent, uh, similar to what we do in San Diego. We give an Amazon gift card uh, for $50 also, and as well as a certificate. Um, a, a guideline from SSCS and templates for the letter could help. Okay, and also uh, related to LinkedIn and social media, uh, promoting the webinars in a LinkedIn chapter page would increase average attendance. Um, any other platforms to promote attendance? Okay, so those are the notes taken from Stefano. Uh, and uh, let's see, um, how about uh, the fifth one? Um, or any comments and questions about what Stefano had, had said, first off? I, I just have one, one comment, I guess. Uh, when he said that the, the, the meeting on, on Google Meet would uh, drop at one hour, if we use the IEEE account, uh, it doesn't, right? I, okay. I have tried several times on that. Okay, thanks, Sandro. Yeah, we use a, a WebEx. Um, we haven't really had a problem with WebEx. The only thing that I would complain about WebEx is when you're in kind of like a panelist uh, um, mode, um, you know, um, or sorry, as an attendee mode, you won't know that there could be like a couple hundred people listening into the meeting. You feel like you're doing it, you're watching this alone, right? Um, uh, but uh, um, that's a small, that, that's one of the, the downsides of the way WebEx is uh, uh, set up. Okay, uh, we let's let's go to the fifth breakout. So who's um, who, who was it's the? Me. Oh, oh, Sandro. Sorry about that. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, we have a very very good discussion with people from U.S., uh, South America, China. It was uh, in the in the Asia. It was it was really really nice. Uh, what what we were discussing initially was that, uh, for instance. Uh, some people think it would be good to have some uh, help, uh, some guidance on how to do meetings after the pandemic, right? Maybe maybe this uh, way of sharing between the chapters would be nice, uh, a way of sharing this uh, experiences. Uh, I, I don't know how to do that, but uh, some people are, are worried about uh, that, right? Uh, one possibility would be uh, to try to organize uh, leisure outside events uh, to try to help bring people uh, to the meetings in, in the beginning, right? Um, and, and and also uh, link it to that, uh, maybe to, to have a, a, a survey on what kind of events uh, the, the, the members would like to, to attend uh, in this uh, initial uh, get back, right? Uh, going to that, uh, a question on how to bring uh, uh, young students, even from high school, uh, to to get interest interest in the in the solid states. We were discussing about that uh, open source tools and eFabless, right? That is a very good initi initiative uh, from from uh, uh, the solid states, and I I think I think promoting that could be helpful on bringing more students. Uh, and the, 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 the last question that we have uh, from Yung Shane was uh, how, how to organize uh, women in, chair in uh, circuits events, right? And I think, I think this is something that uh, all the chapters would, uh, would uh, uh, have to, to, to pay attention to that, right? We, we, we are trying to, to, to start that. Uh, for us, uh, sometimes it's not so easy. We have to push for that uh, to happen. And the question was, question was actually how to organize that. Some help on that. Okay. I think that well, was all, all we have. Thank you. So, Sandro, to your question about women in circuits, well, uh, very fortunately, I mean, um, Farhana is in the steering committee, and uh, Farhana, yeah. maybe, uh, um, you know, it's, it looks like uh, there is interest and momentum that uh, the women in circuits uh, team can collaborate. Farhana? 
Oops. Um, anyways, Farhana is the Women in Circuits uh, uh, Chair uh, for Solid State Circuit Society, and uh, 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 you know, I think uh, uh, given the interest and momentum, what we could do is um, certainly plan uh, um, some sort of like a you know, spawn another separate discussion on focused topics to see how uh, uh, you know, amongst many other focused topics, uh, among how um, uh, uh, chapters can get more involved in. Women in Circuits uh, program and, and, and building one, or, or, or you know, um, uh, 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 having events related to Women in Circuits. Um, I was going to say, I mean, you know, um, there's also an award uh, that uh, um, will um, hopefully be approved very soon in June uh, to enable us to recognize chapters for the best Women in Circuits program. So that's worth noting too. Yeah. Okay. Well, Sandro, thanks very much for your inputs. So we've got, um, I think those are um, all the breakouts. Uh, that you have. Is that right? I just want to add the one point. Uh -huh. okay. Thanks, Mohammed. Mm, like, uh, it, it has been long that we have been discussing that how we can uh, organize a hybrid event uh, by combining different chapters. So uh, I was just thinking about that, that how about we organize country wise? For example, if I'm in China, okay, and my event start at nine, okay, so there will be a synchronization in the timing. One thing, okay. Other thing that once the country are organized, uh, uh, sh sharing the hybrid events, okay, then then they can go globally. So we should go step by step. Uh, in that manner, I think that we can uh, grab that uh, hybrid uh, methodology uh, so quickly. Uh, what are your what is your call about it? Like if we divide uh, the hybrid uh, situation country wise, it will be so quick because we cannot achieve hundred percent. Okay, we have to go ten percent. Then once we have achieved the ten percent target, then we can increase uh, gradually. What's your thought about it? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, uh, it's it's up to us. Um, you know, uh, uh, we have the autonomy to go do this. Uh, um, if you want to reach out to other chapters to co-organize this, uh, um, all the power to you uh, and us, right? Um, so um, you've got the chapters mailing list, right? And also, if you want to reach out to chapters in a particular country, um, just go to the website. Um, it's all posted there, right? So Abira and Lauren and, and Danielle have painstakingly up, updated that, uh, um, that website uh, so that uh, if you want to reach out to other chapters and, you know, if it happens to be China, so be it. Uh, but it doesn't have to be just China. I mean, you know, within no, a no, I was just state. giving an example. Uh, the country wise, it can be US, Brazil, or some uh, like country wise. Uh, another thing that uh, people uh, uh, has been asking, and you have also discussed that how we can grab a new students. Uh, so, what can uh, the strategy which we implement in our, in our institute or in our university that we just sort out uh, uh, the main event of that university? For example, in my university, every year there is a marathon. Okay, so in that marathon, we arrange a stall. Okay, so the students who are crossing, they are interested. We make attractive stalls. We uh, arrange some uh, brochures and something like that. And then when they cross. So we just uh, the people who are interested come to us and we just invite them tell us, tell them about uh, this. So that can be a manner. Everyone have a certain kind of event uh, that uh, in that event that they can organize a small stall, a small presentation, and then they can uh, invite the new student or new batches. Uh, other than that, uh, uh, they can also organize the summer camps. Okay, uh, and in that they can organize different lectures. Like our chapter has been organizing. Uh, continuously a summer camp and a winter camp and uh, that uh, uh, the attendee will also get the credit in their transcript so this uh, this uh, in this way uh, we are trying uh, we are trying to uh, get as much as as much uh, student as we can wow so, that's amazing uh, for us it's working really good and uh, uh, like we have uh, uh, the specialized course uh, in which we have the teachers we have the people from uh, circuit industry uh, from all over the world and uh, uh, in China, we have not that uh, certain pandemic situation. So we have the physical events. So uh, for, for, from my side, that that's going great. Yeah. That's fantastic. I, I know your, 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 your chapter has been doing absolutely amazing things under your leadership, Mohammed. Thank you. Thank you thank for you, sharing. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Yep. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, 
there are folks here who I know uh, who are on this call uh, who I know are not shy, <laughs> but they haven't spoken up yet. Um, you know, any comments, uh, inputs? This is a fantastic discussion. Any other comments or general remarks folks want to make? Yeah, I'll just Not say remarks, in, 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 sorry. Sorry, go ahead, Manu. No, 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 go ahead, sir. Uh, sorry. Oh, uh, hey, Peter. Peter. Hi. Yeah, no, it just in, in our group, uh, one of the things that was mentioned was, okay, so we, asked, we posed the question, um, given that uh, if you're uh, if you're working for a company in this area, then you will have access to IEEE resources, explore and so on uh, via your company. Um, you will have access to or your company will be paying for you to go to a conference or whatever. Um, so, and, and similarly, if you're a university as a student, your supervisor will be paying for you to go to a conference. So a discount doesn't apply. You will have access through the university to all the IEEE resources, events that we run, everybody's invited. So the question was, what are the benefits to a person spending their own money to be a member of IEEE and SSCS? So this is the real thing that we have to sell. And the things that came up for us were that amongst the students, the students appreciated getting little souvenirs with SSCS logos on them. They were important to student chapters, uh, t-shirts, things like that. And the mentoring program was considered extremely important. So these are uh, differential pieces uh, that would be essentially members only. You were also talking about in-person receptions. And I, I, at a few events I was at in the US, I remember there was a it was pizza around them. Um, but again, I suppose that could be subsidized for the members, but not for non-members. Anyway, just to, to be clear about what are the benefits to being a member, I think that's important. So thanks, Peter, for your remarks. So are you saying students can actually be bribed? <laughs> I'll leave that as a rhetorical remark. Um, one thing I can say, uh, um, I mean, we, we have not uh, um, made a distinguishing uh, um, uh, uh, point where uh, basically non-members are not allowed to touch the mm. free food. Um, uh, we actually just, okay, this is perhaps a joke or an anecdote, but um, um, I remembered uh, when we would host uh, uh, um, seminars back in Fort Collins and Bruce Doyle um, uh, will we'll, we'll, we'll test to this. Um, we had a small little donation jar that basically said, you know, um, um, a contribution of one or $2 uh, would be greatly appreciated. And of course, you know, like what a bartender would do, we threw in a few dollars in as a starting point. Um, and, and we're thankful that at least the seed money didn't even go away. Right. But um, we, I think, averaged, um, uh, Bruce, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it was 20 to 25 cents per attendee. Okay. Um, we are fundamentally just a bunch of cheap bastards. <laughs> but, sorry. <laughs> okay, good, good remarks. Um, I, I mean, maybe this is something that the society can do is uh, um, you know, um, have like, a, for, for instance, poster boards or things like that, that advertises exactly, uh, the remarks that you made, Peter. And, uh, the things that really hit home for the students, which is really where we're trying to draw more, uh, membership. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic point. Uh, you know, no good deed goes unpunished. So perhaps we can, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, reach out to you to provide some of these more, uh, you know, this plus other inputs and, and help us, uh, put something together. Sure. Sure. Okay. Thank you. And it's, it's Adam, just to add to that, um, we are planning to do another member survey and hopefully be able to, uh, slice and dice the data by member type and then segment our, our marketing, uh, to target what each member type values the most. Good. Excellent yeah, I'm, point. I'm just, I'm just thinking back. I had a visiting student one time from Iran. And she, um, she submitted a paper to a conference and then got an IEEE student travel grant to go to the conference. And it was a, almost the highlight of her career. It, it helped her then later get an academic position and gave her confidence and started her. So like the, the, I guess the little 
travel grants for students to conferences are also valuable. Fantastic. Any other points? Yeah, I, I'd like a coffee cup too. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, sorry, you can just go ahead. I'm willing to pay for it. Go ahead. Did, did someone have something to say or um, was just commenting about the coffee cup? I think Mohammed and myself are crossover. Mohammed needs to speak. Okay, sorry. Mohammed? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, uh, you people were talking about the women and circuit, how we can increase the number of women that can participate in the circuit. So, what I think that, uh, uh, for example, if I talk about my student chapter, so our vice chair is a female, okay, and our secretary is also a female. So, uh, try to give them a good position in your chapter, okay, uh, a, vice, uh, a vice chair or something like that. Uh, so, that they will be uh, so much interested and uh, looking uh, other 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 women they will look her that she's a vice chair of that uh, student chapter so uh, the other new female uh, women will also be interested to to be the part of sscs so the this is one of the method so we give we should give a good leadership position to the uh, chapter member in uh, the female chapter a female person in the chapter so that's that's a good point. So, Mohammed, uh, to that, uh, uh, I was going to say that uh, if you uh, look at the uh, list of chapter chairs for our so for our society, um, about ten percent of chapter chairs are, are are female. Okay, I mean certainly that number uh, um, could and should be higher, but uh, it is about ten percent. It's at least better than uh, um, the society membership, which is you know uh, uh, five percent uh, female and. Um, for Hana and her team in women's circuits are, are working very hard and Dan also and, and, and John are working very hard to try to increase that percentage. But, you know, at the end of the day, though, um, getting that uh, inclusion, that diversity uh, really, really needs to start, you know, at the start of the pipeline. Right. And which is kind of why uh, um, uh, doing what we can at the college and even more so at the pre college level is, is absolutely essential. Right. The things I can add here is that <clears throat> many times um, the chapter events are held at times where it's difficult for women to attend because they're taking care of kids or putting dinner on the table or cooking or whatever, right? So it might help if you kind of scheduled an event that's, uh, you know, during a time where you know women can actually find it convenient to attend we did notice this with the oregon chapter and we did notice that we got a lot more attendance when you know it was you know early in the morning it was in the morning when the kids have already gone to school and they can take a little break from their work and and attend the talk or it's in the afternoon just before they have to head out to pick up the kids from school and then they can just you know attend an event then Yep. I also wanted to propose by the way, my... for, for Hannah, um, mm -hmm. by the way, um, just now, um, there was a question asked. I mean, there's a lot of momentum. Sandro brought this up. There's a lot of momentum for folks wanting to uh, uh, do more to help promote women in circuits activities. So um, I, I guess um, you would step out for a, a moment. Maybe you can address that. I mean, there is definitely momentum here, which is great. Yep. So what we're going to be piloting uh, with the, the Oregon chapter, for example, or wherever Renee is local, is that we're going to host a hybrid luncheon. Um, so, uh, so basically, you know, if, if Renee can attend the luncheon in person, that's great. Then we'll have the chapter, the local chapter host the event. And then women in circuits will take care of all the virtual logistics and work with the chapter chair and his his or her team to to make sure that the event goes well and so we're thinking of bringing in very high profile you know role models uh to come to some of the local events so if you're interested in in hosting you know a role model a, a diverse role model at your chapter uh then contact us and we will help with the virtual logistics if you can take care of the ground logistics mm -hmm. Now, um, uh, one thing um, uh, that uh, 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 someone just sent me a, a comment on, um, and you know, inspired by Peter's um, remark, 
um, is that, uh, uh, you know, as a professor uh, or, you know, many of, uh, of, of folks in, in this team are, are professors. Um, I mean, would you be open to, for instance, like a flashing a slide or two to encourage your students to be SSCS members if you are not already doing so? Okay. Uh, is that a good idea, right? I, I'm going to keep this person's name anonymous. Just, um, you know, uh, um, I think he wants to remain on, anonymous, but, uh, um, but uh, uh, you know, is this something we can do? Create, for instance, like an intro slide or two uh, that highlights the key benefits, you know, uh, that students would see as carrots to be SSCS members. Would, would that help? Yeah, you can do that. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe a video could help as well, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you yes, know, yes. if it's something that a professor will need to do, well, you know, um, we could collectively, um, you know, um, uh, um, you know, a, a soundboard amongst each other to basically uh, 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 um, come up with a, a meaningful um, a, a short set of slides that uh, um, we could build together and then uh, and then basically amplify that out. Even well, for the, think, uh, uh, virtual events or something. Also, Alvin, I have a suggestion on how you could, can entice people to become members very quickly. Is uh -huh. that you could you could raffle off uh, a few uh, uh, conference registrations. Uh, so you know, I'm sure people would be willing to get a free conference registration. Um, so they would sign up as a SSDS member. <laughs> To, see, to get into the raffle. <laughs> well, our, 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 so I was going to ask, are lotteries legal? <laughs> I'm with you. I mean, you know, whatever it takes. Um, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, this is a question for Adam and Abira and Lauren. You know, are, are, would that be illegal or is it's, it's okay to do that? You probably have to check with, uh, with legal on that. We've done drawings before for things um but there are some some very specific rules for that okay okay yep i mean when this you leave Zabira, the i also wanted to add in that uh slides promoting sscs membership those are already on our website i'm just going to post a link in the chat and they're updated um often they're last updated probably a couple weeks ago and I think the young professionals, I mean, there's a standard set of slides that the young professionals show in all their webinar events um, that are, are, are more tailored towards like, you know, the carrots for students, right? Yep. But uh, Abira, um, you'd mentioned that, uh, um, you know, one of the upcoming magazine articles, uh, uh, you're, you're thinking of having some sort of like a, um, a, an article that uh, brings in testimonials from uh, for mentees, uh, mentors, etc., just to kind of showcase that uh, initiative, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I, I think it, it's been, you know, a wonderful uh, um, opportunity. Uh, so um, I uh, um, have a mentor or mentee from uh, University of Calgary who uh, um, actually he uh, he visited uh, San Diego and stayed with me um, and I got to meet him, you know, and got to know him better. And it was just a lot. It was just super cool. Yeah. Okay. Any other comments? Yes, it's Roman. I just want to oh, add man. something out to what Sandra, uh, Sandra said about uh, doing a video. Uh, in fact, uh, at Bordeaux University, we did a pro sort of a promotional video about uh, IEEE. Uh, um, and uh, it was, I don't know, one or two minutes, and we put it uh, at the beginning of each talk we had. And uh, I think it can, we can maybe do the same with SSC, uh, because it, I think it can be great to show to students and uh, pre-college students that uh, it's not only about uh, uh, the conferences uh, and how the difficult conferences to understand for pre-college students of maybe it can be contest fun contest also a training round tables i don't know if there is there are so many things done in sscc and i think sometimes he, for students even in college it's not uh, they don't see what really it is done in uh, sscs uh, chapters and so on so i think it can be a great idea one minute i think it's enough
Merci, uh, Roman. Um, um, thanks. Uh, by the way, for those who may not know Roman, uh, she's um, our um, inaugural, our first uh, uh, student uh, representative to uh, the uh, SSCS Adcom. So welcome, Roman, to the team, and uh, also was uh, 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 thankfully agreed uh, to be part of the steering committee. Yep. Merci, Roman. Okay. Um, anyways, I, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, this has been a, a really lively discussion. Um, you know, thanks very much for, uh, uh, you know, participating, uh, appreciate all your inputs and, uh, you know, we have a lot of momentum we can uh, build on, you know, really, really appreciate, you know, uh, from really from the bottom of my heart, no, no uh, pun intended, no cliche intended, uh, um, how thankful, um, um, I am personally, as well as, uh, on behalf of the SSCS core team. Uh, of, of all the great things that the chapters are doing uh, and, uh, um, you know, look forward to hearing more great things about what you do. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, we'll, we'll be sending out more emails to, you know, kind of uh, perhaps like build collective focus groups uh, for individual topics, for instance, women in circuits, planning hybrid events, etc. cetera. Um, you know, this is a pretty big mailing list. Uh, don't want to be spamming everyone. Uh, but, um, you know, if you are interested to, uh, help out in, 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 in some way beyond, uh, what you're doing with your local chapters already, um, please don't hesitate to reach out to, to, to me or a bureau or Lauren. Okay. So with that said, um, yeah, thanks everyone. Uh, any, any other uh, comments you'd like to add? Um, uh, I'm not sure John, if it's, it's Wait, John just to, or just a, sorry, just a parting thought. Um, yeah. was, it, was it Stefano who said that there's a lot of repatriation of people from Texas to their home countries at the moment? They could probably seed uh, chapter activities back in their home countries with the, I mean, startup people in startups probably are in a smaller groups and they're more uh, in need of the community of a chapter than people in bigger companies. So maybe use those people to kickstart some things. Absolutely. Thanks, Peter. Yeah. John, did you want to have any parting thoughts? Yeah, Alvin, I just wanted to, uh, to to thank you for your leadership and putting together this meeting and, and leading it. We had some great ideas. I, I'd like to thank everybody for participating. It's great to see uh, chapter chairs being so active and promoting SSCS uh, to our members locally. That's that's such an important thing for us. And you know, we're happy to take up these ideas and do whatever we can to help support you. I think. You know, a lot of what we do with webinars and with educational activities and the resource center and all that stuff adds a lot of value to the SSCS, but it, it doesn't really mean much unless people use it. And having people in chapters that are, you know, reaching out to the local community and using that stuff and, and promoting the SSCS, that's just invaluable to us and, and to our profession. So thank you very much for doing that. And and also, yeah, thanks so much to the staff. I mean, uh, you know, what what Abira and Danielle and Lauren and Adam do for us is is fantastic. We lean on them a lot, and and thank you so much for for supporting Alvin and this whole initiative. So yeah, thanks again for the gr a great meeting, and uh, you know best of luck with your activities this year as chapters. Yep, thank you, John. Okay, well with that said, I guess uh, uh, we'll adjourn the meeting. Uh, return uh, back another um, seventeen minutes uh, of your life to you. Uh, and, um, you know, once again, uh, uh, thank you so much. If, um, if there's any way we can help, please uh, reach out. Okay. And uh, uh, we are, um, a, 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 you know, a pretty small family in the grand scheme of things. And, you know, just wanted to wish everyone stay well and, uh, um, and stay safe. Okay. Take care, everyone. Thanks a lot, Alvin. Yep. Bye, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone.